and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town, and we're here outside Town Hall at our flag for the annual Hydrocephalus Foundation flag raising ceremony. We normally have a whole big shindig inside where we read the proclamation and thank everybody, but we're forced outside today because of the virus and the pandemic. Uh, so we're going to do it outside, and I'm going to call on uh, Michael and Coleons. First of all, our flag guy there is Council Vice President Brian Small. He's trying to figure out what he's doing over there. Um, and we'll raise Cole and Adrian and Allie will uh, raise the flag as soon as we talk a little more. So I'd like to call up Michael and, and uh, Kim Ilions, mostly Mike, right? You don't do the talking. Yeah, yeah. And ask him, I know we're the first town to do a flag raising yes. because you guys. So first, let me congratulate Mike and Kim because they have become, and I've said this before, I say it probably every year, they've become national advocates. They didn't, this is not a Woodbridge thing, not a county thing, it's not a state thing. This has become a national thing because of Michael and Kim's advocacy. They have met with congressmen. They, they know congressmen all over the country who have signed on to their cause. They fought for funding. Uh, they've done work with the NIH, NIH National Institute of Health on grants, all those things. They've really become the driving force in the nation behind hydrocephalus, and they're right here in Woodbridge, and they're our residents. So Michael, take it away. Tell me all you can about the cause and, and what else, what people can do. Well, thank you, Mayor. I want to thank the Mayor and the Council for again uh, raising the flag of awareness for hydrocephalus. Uh, like the mayor mentioned, this is the first town that has done it, and it's been duplicated across the country, but Woodbridge was the first. Uh, in 2009, the PHF was formed on in honor of my son Cole, who's 13, 15 years old now, and has uh, survived 13 brain surgeries because of hydrocephalus. And in 2009, we uh, met with a few members of Congress, and we had uh, hydrocephalus National Hydrocephalus Awareness Month passed for the country every September since 2009 and today we're going to raise the flag here and we hope that we can get some help and support and raise more funding for research for hydrocephalus which is an incurable brain condition and the only treatment is a brain surgery which is why the numbers are so high so it's a very serious and, and could be fatal condition over a million Americans have it you can be born with it you can acquire it due to a traumatic brain injury and other reasons and uh, we're just doing all we can as uh, parents and family members of children and young adults and adults with hydrocephalus. We have 25 state chapters across the country. We have many of our board members here and their children, all of hydrocephalus ranging, for an age, ranging in age from 15 to 26 and probably close to 70, 90 total brain surgeries between the three of them. Wow. So that's the uh, situation we're dealing with here and those numbers are not uncommon for people with hydrocephalus. The, as I mentioned, the only treatment is brain surgery. So you can visit our website at www.hydrokids.org. Uh, this year has been obviously horrible for everybody and we haven't had a chance to do much fundraising or advocacy and we're very grateful for the town and the mayor and the council to put this on for us this year so we can get some awareness in New Jersey and then share it across the country with our other advocates and state chapters. So I want to thank you all for coming and uh, supporting the PHF year after year. Are, are we, is New Jersey the largest chapter or the most active chapter? Yes, we're the largest chapter and the most active and the biggest fundraising chapter um, and, and in, how, the, in the country. And how can, can you measure your success at all by starting from 2009 to 2020? Can you point to anything that says this is what we've accomplished in terms of dollars and in terms of people? Tell, give me some stats. Sure, the most important thing is the amount of people we're able to touch and help. Families that didn't know who to call, where to turn, when there was an issue, when they found out their unborn child was going to have hydrocephalus, or a child who was already born had some kind of injury or some kind of issue, and hydrocephalus was diagnosed at that point. When we found out we were pregnant, we had no one to turn to, nowhere to look, um, nowhere to go, and Did you, we were have lost. Have you ever heard of it? No, I've never heard. I've never heard of it before. And so you were just like, what, was what do I do? We were, what do we do? And uh, we didn't have any help, really. So we were able to start the organization a few years later after Cole was born. He had already had a bunch of surgeries before the PHF was even founded. And since 2009, you know, now we have the National Hydrocephalus Awareness Month, which was not heard of before that. We were the responsible for that happening. We also started a congressional caucus in Washington for hydrocephalus, both pediatric and adult. And that has about 40 members of Congress, about 10%. And is our of, guy in it? 
No. Is Frank, no. Frank's not in Oh, yeah, Frank Pawn is Frank in Pond's it. I think, yeah. yes. I know Larry Lance yeah. was when yes. you first started this. Yes. He was our congressman. He was a co chair of the of the yeah, caucus. Yeah, he was very. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Frank Pawn is involved. Pond is, yeah, is involved. He yes. Better be, we'll, yeah, I know. We'll he's involved. Him if he was. He's involved in it. And um, many things we've done. We've uh, got NIH, as the mayor said, to increase funding towards research, but it's still severely underfunded for research projects. We've seen treatment options enhance and become uh, more uh, effective. Um, and we're still working on finding the ultimate goal, which is a cure for hydrocephalus, but there's over 50 causes of hydrocephalus. So really to cure it, we have to cure the causes mm -hmm. and that will cure, end up curing hydrocephalus. So that's part of our goal and mission statement. Terrific. Oh, well. Anybody else on the board that would like to say anything to compliment? I pretty much covered it all. Anybody else want to say anything? No? Council Vice President, you good? We're also joined by Assemblyman Craig Coughlin, our Assembly Speaker. Do you want to say anything, Craig? You're okay? 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. 30, 30 seconds. I just well, thank you very much for that uh, kind introduction there, Mayor. Uh, and I just wanted to add my uh, thanks and congratulations on the efforts of, of this, this board. You know, Mike and Kim, I've gotten to know over the course of the years, and I can tell you they are relentlessly devoted to making a difference, and, and they do. Uh, I don't think many of us knew what hydrocephalus was until uh, until we met you uh, and we got to know Cole. So uh, you're, you're changing the world. Uh, you do great work, and I'm privileged to, to know you and, and to be able to say to thank you for that today. Thank you. All right, how about we get Allie and Adrian and Cole up to hold the proclamation? And we'll get a good picture. Hey, Al. Hey. I haven't seen you in a year. How you That's doing? Okay. Why don't you guys stand right here, hold the proclamation between you, and look at everybody over there. And now, how about, we got, we got the pictures? Are you waiting, going to get one more? You good? All right, how about you go join Council Vice President Small and raise the flag. I'll hold this. You all hold on to it, and he'll tell you what to do. is wearing a green Yankee hat. That is a direct gift from the mayor. I bought it in Florida. I bought, I saw one for myself and I bought it and I said, I know who else would like to wear this Yankee hat. <laughs> right? No problem, pal. I know what you're saying. All right. Thank you for watching, folks. Thanks again, Mike and Jim. Thank you. Thank you.